Sponsored by the brilliant attorneys at Jensen Law Firm. Hello, Brad. Greens. Happy World Water Day. It is. Listen, back in the uh, 1990s, I actually took a couple of classes in environmental sciences at UWGB. And just by chance, when I was researching a paper, I ran across this book, The Water Planet, A Celebration of the Wonder of Water. I would highly recommend this book. I mean, it's written beautifully, gorgeous photographs, but there was one big takeaway from this book, okay? There was a line that says, we treat water worse than we treat dirt. We treat water worse than we treat dirt. It's always stuck with me, but it's something to think about on, yes, this day, World Water Day. I bet you didn't know that, did you? I, I didn't until you told me. <laughs> it's been celebrated worldwide since 1994. It's actually an international observance day, and it's really just meant to heighten awareness about water issues and to maybe motivate people to take some action, make a difference. This year has a theme, Accelerating Change to Solve the Global Water and Sanitation Crisis. And this is the problem, Chris. Globally, 771 million people lack access to just clean drinking water. That's one out of 10 people on the planet. I mean, in this day and age, why? Why? There's a number of reasons, actually. Climate change and natural disasters are linked. Climate change and includes, by the way, droughts. Right. But conversely, more often than droughts, it's flooding. And the problem with flooding is typically other water sources that were somewhat reliable become polluted because of the flood the, the waters. Okay, so yep. war and conflict, well, you know what that leads to. And then there's waste water, which is water we've used, worse than dirt. <laughs> you know, that, that ends up in areas sure. where people, you know, draw the water for cons consumption as well. And then there's wasting water. Here in America, believe it or not, a typical family of four wastes about 180 gallons of water a day. Really? No, excuse me, a week. And that's from maybe taking longer showers or letting the water run while you're brushing your teeth. Or doing like the dishes and just or letting it go, not turn it yeah, off. Or leaky, yep. leaks even, sure. you know. So there's a lot of things going on there. But when it comes to wastewater, this really is troubling. One of the leading causes for many of the world's most pervasive diseases, cholera, dysentery, typhoid, polio, even diarrhea. Diarrhea kills 2,200 children every day worldwide. That's more than AIDS, malaria, and measles all combined, and it's because of lack of access to clean water. Now, I know that this all seems so far and so removed from... From us. Exactly. Right. Because as we've mentioned many times, we're in the OPEC of the water world. 20% of the world's fresh water is right here and here in Wisconsin, particularly just around every corner. Right. <laughs> There's a little puddle somewhere. But I just wanted to kind of maybe help raise awareness a little sure. bit on this day, World Water Day. All right. Well, Brad, thank you very much. Okay. We'll see you again tomorrow.